Good day, everybody, and welcome to Rise, Wine, and Dine. Today on our show, we are doing St. Patrick's Veggie Dip, a very simple and easy dip to go along with some awesome green veggies, purposely for St. Patrick's Day. So our ingredients today, what we'll need is mayonnaise, sour cream, Worcester sauce, lime zest from a whole lime, and we'll also need savory, summer savory, salt, some fresh parsley, garlic powder, and onion powder. So the first thing we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take our mayonnaise, and we're just gonna put our mayonnaise into a small, well, a medium-sized bowl. We'll also add our sour cream. Our Worcester sauce, our lime zest will go in right now. We'll put in our summer savory, our salt, our garlic powder, our fresh parsley, and our onion powder. So we're just gonna go ahead and stir our ingredients all together. Make sure you scrape your bowl really good. Just make sure everything is well blended. And at this point right now, we will just take our mixture, our St. Patrick's veggie dip, and we'll just place it into the fridge for a couple hours to let it set. And once it's set, we will come back and show you how it looks. So the vegetables we're gonna use today, we have broccoli, and we have cucumber, and celery. That is the green veggies we chose today. We're going to take our St. Patrick's veggie dip, which we've chilled for a while in the fridge, a couple hours. And we're just gonna place it into our bowl, little serving dish. Perfect for having some people in as a good little, as a good little appetizer snack. So we're just gonna go ahead and give this a taste. my other end to dip. This is the gear. This is really, really good. You will be very impressed with our St. Patrick's veggie dip. You need to give it a go. Mm -hmm. So good. So yummy. Mm -mm -mm. You can definitely taste that hint of lime. The lime zest is really, really, really yummy. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a new veggie dip this St. Patrick's Day, why not try Rise Wine and Dine's St. Patrick's Dip? The ingredients and measurements will be down in the description box below this video. So check it out. Share it with your family and friends. So we hope you and your family will try this recipe. And if you like this recipe, give our video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe in order for you to stay in our circle. And every time we put out a new recipe, you're sure to find out about it. Until next time, we'll catch you right here on Rise, Wine, and Dine. Have a good day, everybody.